This is Tim Station here, reporting from Kerbal Space Program Headquarters. It's been a while since I've uploaded on this channel, and I just thought it'd be fun to do a little Kerbal Space Program adventure. You can probably tell from the title what we're going to be doing. So I'm going to start a new... Why? How did they know? Anyway, they can read my mind, so let's start a new sandbox mode. So we're going to try to get to the moon and back using the electro electric propulsion these things the electric propulsion xenon thruster type things i'm not going to use them to get to orbit because this video would be days long if that was the case what i'm thinking is to have some arms that stick out uh, with solar panels on them right so these are the biggest solar panels solar arrays oh that looks funny but hang on a minute we need to keep this craft as lightweight as possible but also have the most solar energy as possible so let's grab my trusty calculator so these large arrays produce 24.4 units of electricity and they weigh 0 0.3 tons so that's 81.3 units of electricity per ton and these other array things which are not reusable they don't retract do 1.6 units of electricity and they weigh 0 0.0175 tons so they produce 90 91 units of electricity per ton so they're 12 and a half percent more electricity per ton so we are going to be using these ones um, means we need a lot more of them do i do this as a time lapse or do i just simply cut out all of this oh that's annoying me Oh, why? Why? Oh, wait, hang on. There could be a solution. Oh. Wait, are they not all the same? Are they not square? They're not all the same dimensions. Oh. That is the most frustrating thing I've seen on KSP. Right, let's test if these solar panels can all extend at one time. In three, two, one. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, now we need to add all of the thrusters. So, um, having these massive arms with the solar array does allow... Allows for a pretty nice arrangement of these thingies. How many of these do you reckon we need? So, we've got 440. 4440 meters per second delta v so let's add another few of these uh, da, da, da. there so fourth four thrusters reduces the delta v by 400 meters per second right let's do the calculations so more thrusters means more weight means less delta v but means higher thrust to weight ratio. But more th thrusters means more solar panels. So what we want, yeah, okay, so what we want to have is we want to have the least amount of thrusters possible to, uh, to still have a thrust to weight ratio of one on the moon, right? We can do some maths. Let's, I'll tell you what, let's, let's do some maths. Okay, so one thruster at Full thrust uses 8.74 units of electricity per second. And one solar panel produces 1.6. So if we do divide by 1.6, so we need five and a half, six, six solar panels per thruster. Six solar panels per thruster is quite a lot. How many have we got? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got 96 divided by six. So we can have 16 thrusters and still have a net positive electric charge. See, think like an engineer. That's the way NASA does it. So now we should, in theory, have a net positive electric charge at full thrust. Right, so I think we're ready for the journey to the moon 
we just need to have a method of getting this thing into orbit. So, attach, there we go. And then we can do a little, ooh, there we go. And then one of these. So this booster won't get it quite to orbit, but it will get it close. And then we should be able to, if we, get, if we can get it high enough, um, we can deploy the solar panels and hopefully get it to orbit. That means we're not leaving any debris in orbit, hopefully. Right, here we go. First launch of the solar moon ship, or moon ship, if you're not a Kerbal. Full throttle in three, two, one. So what thruster weight are we getting? Thruster weight ratio of 1.9-ish. Uh, let's throttle that back a tiny bit. I don't know when to start the gravity turn because we need to uh, we need to get it quite high out of the atmosphere before separation because uh, I need some time to extend the solar panels and then fire up the thrusters. Gravity turns are uh, probably one of the most efficient ways of uh, flying a rocket, but it's pretty hands-off on Kerbal Space Program, so it's not the most exciting to fly. Okay, 60. Okay, wait, don't catch fire, solar panels. We need you to calm down. 80 kilometers separation. And then now, can we just open these solar panels? Yeah, that's cool, right. Three, two, one, orbit burn. So yeah, my calculations are correct. Oh yes, we are now in orbit. We are, have a periaps above 70 kilometers. I'm just going to keep it going just to get it a bit more circular. Oh, I've seen another problem. I've seen another problem. The solar panels cannot align with the sun. <laughs> oh no. Um, we could just orbit around enough time so that the craft is pointing either towards or away from the sun when it needs to use the thrust because we can't make it. hang on this has created a whole another problem we need to make sure that we end up on the sunny side of the moon I've just realized this whole plan is um, uh, not great I think we just need to fast forward Fast forward a bunch until the moon is like at a different position. <laughs> okay, let's try here. So now to get to the moon, if I do a maneuver here, thrust outwards. <laughs> okay, so now we'll be facing the sun when we need to do our burn out of Earth orbit. And then when we end up by the moon, we should be on the either the far side or the left hand side of the moon from this orientation which should in theory give us some sunlight I hope so <laughs> here we go here comes the sun here comes the sun so we're facing the sun we've got the full solar array pushing us producing thrust to push us okay so now we have a moon encounter and we're gonna miss the moon by 28 and a half kilometers so all I'm gonna do is warp to the moon bye bye earth and then where's the moon where's the moon where's the moon where's the moon oh there it is oh no that's gonna be a problem so we're on the sunny side of the moon but we're going to be sideways facing okay we are quite sideways facing see look i don't oof i don't have enough thrust how much thrust can i produce come on come on okay we can still do like nearly nearly two thirds thrust i can do half thrust at least Oh no, 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 Okay, okay, okay. So as I start to flip, 
the solar panels all have to turn around. Oh no! Hang on, hang on, hang on. Is this is this even possible? So as I manoeuvre, the solar panels lose the sun and all my thrust turns off. Okay, this is going to be interesting. So I have to thrust downwards at the moment. Should we do? Let's do the flip early. So I've got to flip like this. Wait for all the panels to rotate. Actually, that wasn't too bad. Right. Place your bets. What are the odds of this thing actually landing? <laughs> oh. oh no, as soon as I tilt to bleed off that horizontal velocity, I lose my electricity flow. Oh no, I can't go lower than like a 30 degree angle. So I just need to control this. Try not to start gaining altitude. So I can't quite get away with full throttle. But I can get pretty close. Oh no, I'm climbing, hang on. Oh no, 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 I don't want to be climbing. Or do I? I don't think I want to be climbing, but I sort of have to. To try and bleed off the horizontal velocity, there's no other way. I think this could be it. This could be the final approach. We've got 170 meters per second to go. I probably want to reduce my vertical velocity now just to be safe. Okay, vertical speed is constant. Or zero, should I say. We are at almost five kilometers high. This is it, this is it. We're coming in for the landing now. Oh, we're gonna miss this little ledge. Don't land on the hill, don't land on the hill. Where's my shadow, there's my shadow. <laughs> Look at that shadow. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, okay, okay. Seven meters per second, five, four, three, two, one, three. Okay, let's keep it like that. On radial facing out. Five meters per second. Come on, come on. No, 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 don't go back up, don't go back up. Oh, I'm wasting fuel, I'm wasting fuel. <laughs> we did it! First try. <laughs> right, um... Let's get him out. Well, we made it to the moon. Now we need to let's uh, yeah, let's plant a flag first before we uh, think about getting home. <laughs> Solar ship man landing. Yeah, got to add that bit for some enthusiasm. Okay, so to get back into orbit, we need to go towards the Earth. So straight. Okay, cool, that way. This is looking good. We have all the panels facing the sun, and we're in the orientation we need for our orbit burn. We have an apparatus of 38 kilometers, so let's fast forward a tiny bit. And... Burn. It's a bit late. Oh well, that will still be okay. There we go, we are now in the moon's orbit. So to get back to Earth, this might be a problem. So it'll be a really inefficient way of get, getting back to Earth, but we have lots of Delta V anyway. Uh, ha -ha, we don't see the sun yet. When does the sun appear? There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, I nearly missed it. Full throttle. Yeah. Right, so whilst we do this uh, burn to leave the moon's orbit um, you're probably wondering how on earth this thing is going to land back on earth I haven't added any decoupling thing here and I also haven't added a heat shield so what I'm planning on doing is to just send it into the atmosphere at full speed 19,994 meters oh so if I'm if we somehow manage to break the laws of physics through the atmosphere, we will hit the moon. That's good reassurance. If the atmosphere doesn't kill you, the moon will. Put a tiny bit more. 
Oh, no, 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 not that far, that far. Oh, there we go, 120, okay, cool. Wait, I'm going up. Why am I go? Did I really? I actually warped through the atmosphere. I didn't even know you could do that in this game. So it looks like I'm going to get killed by the moon. Um, you won't hit the moon if we do that. But, but, but it's not ideal. Shall we do a little EVA whilst uh, this stuff's going on? Hang on, how do I do this? Uh, let go. Wouldn't it be so cool if this was a trampoline instead of solar panels and you could just like, just, just, Uh <laughs> I've lost all um I've I've lost RCS control <laughs> and he's got a solar panel stuck in his leg. <laughs> um Oh, hang on. It came off, it came off. What? There's no way. By my solar panel. There's no way that just recovered. So now the the thing is spinning. <laughs> oh my! Come on. So <laughs> look at that tiny solar panel just spinning off into the distance. Where did the rest of them go? There's like loads of them missing. I don't know whether Kerbal Space Program takes into account the weight of the panels, but I'm going to hope that they don't so that we can at least, um, so that when we apply some thrust, it doesn't, you know, twist the whole craft. I suppose we'll find out in a second. How much burn time do I have left? I have 139 seconds of burn time left. Um, and 20 kilometers is coming up in two minutes so yeah about now if we hit full throttle just to get rid of that last few meters per second because we're currently doing three kilometers per second <sighs> someone needs to design bouncy solar panels or solar panel trampolines <laughs> okay so we're about to enter the atmosphere it's 75 kilometers and the atmosphere starts at 70 so you're ready to see some destruction of these solar panels oh hang on why are we losing all our electrical electrical charge oh oh i feel like something's going bad yeah here we go here we go here we go <laughs> boom 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 you ready come on just ride it down Come on, Jibadai, you can survive this. Here we go, now we're in the thick part of the atmosphere. There we go. Okay, parachute deploy. Here we go, here we go. What speed are we going to be doing? Is it too heavy? Is it too heavy? Ooh. Mm, not bad, not bad. 16, 17 meters per second. And... Touchdown! Oh, that was really loud. <gasps> no, we're gonna lose our. It's sinking. No, come back, Jack. Come back. Well, there we have it. A solar-powered electronic ion propulsion rocket to the moon and back. I suppose we could do this again if anyone enjoyed it. See you next time.